Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm Rose Rap, aka Star Shadow. And here we go. Cyber Knights Flashpoint. We're back. First episode we did a uh, kind of a meet your team kind of deal where uh, we actually created the team. We did a lot of appearance stuff. It was a very much an introduction kind of stream. Uh, so I met, met the characters, created the characters, got to talk a little bit about the, what they did. Uh, we looked at their stats and everything and then I uh, went through the tutorial. So, you know, there's a lot there that, you know, being what you do, and what you don't do, uh, you could probably skip a lot of it. I could probably cut that video up a little bit, but uh, now we're going to get into the meat of it. Now we're going to get into the meat of the game here. It's uh, uh, and we're going to be uh, using this time to to kind of kind of figure out where we're, where we're going to go with it, kind of figure out w about our characters, what they can do, what they kind of like, because they're going to get uh, traits and stuff out of uh, doing these missions and such. So we're uh, going to explore a little bit. So like I said, this is an alpha run through of the early access as we try and figure out uh, exactly how we want to do things before we actually uh, do. <laughs> so basically, by the time it comes out, uh, hopefully we have an idea of what's going on like how we want to actually run our playthrough so we are going to get into the very first uh mission here this is the official very first mission we are in the city of new boston the year is 2231 and our cyber group here has for the first time come together i don't know actually it's probably not the first time but this is our first real big kind of mission and we're about to find out exactly what's going down here uh we have our two friends who started the group who uh we're going with the right now the group name tentative group name is cyber valkyries alpha uh but we have our two founding members mask who is the face of the group our liaison with our contacts and our soon to be cyber knight star so this is three days ago uh here we go are you sure you want to go through with this star time for that has passed we took the loan from the d street cartel signed it in blood i know it just seemed right to ask one last time we're moving all the pieces into place all right, so we're going under the knife for uh, this. Uh, so let's see. Here, here we go. We're going to learn exactly what's going on. So Dr. Ekman is at the Ultratech AUG Clinic now. You're scheduled for the spinal surgery at midnight. The right bribes have been paid and the floor will be clear. No one will be watching. Mask. The, the quantum computer implant surgery kills people. If I don't, the team will clear the rooftop. Our hover truck exit is 3 a.m. sharp. J just listen to me. If I don't make it, don't wait around for the D-Cartel to frag you too. Try to get them to your people in Atlanta. I'm not talking about it, but I won't leave them. You wouldn't. You're going to be on the rooftop at 3 a.m. I guess you'll be strapped to a stretcher, so you won't have much to say. So shut up and take those meds exactly on schedule. You've got a big night coming up. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be our mission. All right, so we have our uh, cyber sword here, Saya. It's almost O three hundred. Anybody coming? We just reached the rooftop. Plan is right on schedule. Stay patient. Let's do this right. Your time to shine, Vanguard. Help those two clear. Oh, help those two get clear of the remaining patrols. Sorry to cut in, but I'm running digital Overwatch here on the Ultratech Clinic's Matrix. Hacker, make it quick. I don't know what happened, but something just flipped. Encrypted traffic in and out of the clinic just went to tenfold. Just went up tenfold and the IC are locking down the firewalls. Then we've got trouble. Y'all heard that. 
This is looking like a nighttime stroll, but now we're on the clock. Get sharp. We stick to plan A. Stars coming to the rooftop. Plan A it is. Saya, it's your lead, but if but if it gets messy, then make a mess and go fast. Then let's ride. Hit it. All right, so uh, we do have a tutorial library here. Uh, so it's saying we can use our anticipation to predict enemy movement. Uh, we have a lure ability and jam kit to uh, temporarily knock a electronics component offline so that we can sneak past. And that's what we have. So as you can see, uh, the story here is our uh, Cyber Knight is going under the knife to get the uh, spinal implant implant put in which will officially make her a cyber knight as this uh, is a very uh, strong implant that is uh, it, it, it's very powerful so uh, it's a big deal that we were able to get our hands uh, on on this and to get our leader this implant so uh, that's why it's so important that we get her out with no problems and this is a uh, why now we're gonna have to figure out what we got to do here so uh we need to get to the hover pad I, that's right now uh, our plan is to meet up here so we need to be careful we have uh like i said we have our uh, this is our vanguard actually our vanguard uh with the sword uh we have some good uh stuff here to use the jam kit here we have a uh, two instances that we can use it takes four turns to uh reload i guess um we got a lure we also got silence for killing and we can also use this to anticipate where they're gonna look now i've run through this mission a couple times because it was uh, in the demo and such so i have an idea already what's gonna go on so we're probably not gonna use the anticipation all that much um but uh so she's there. We got then two uh, that need to come past here. We know we have the, a lootable lockbox here as well, which is nice. Along with, uh, so we got three guards here we have to worry about if we want to get this. Or we can just sneak out and get straight to here. Uh, there's nothing over here right now, but uh, I do know there will be. Is there actually something over here? Uh, it's only for hackers, okay. I haven't actually looked over here. So uh, we have some time here. Like I said, I want to go get what's in the loot box. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to be in there. I don't know if it's like randomized or not. Uh, so I want to do that. And that's easy enough. We get through here. We can get through here and come out and go around this way. Uh, the issue here is uh, this person here who is going to uh, walk and come this way. So we got to be careful. Uh, what I would like to do, and I'm not, I'm not sure I would have to see what, uh, what kind of, uh, space we got here before we do that. Okay. So I'm going to delay here cause I'm not sure what I want to do with you yet. Uh, or do I want to, yeah, and you're looking here so that we're going to delay on you and then we'll see how far, how far can you actually go? Can you actually get, no, you can't get too far. So. Uh, cause what I was thinking is maybe, I don't know, can we actually, let's see what happens if we sprint, oh, you'll be heard, so that's not good. Uh, so what we might do here is, um, so we're, we're a very stealthy team, so what we want to do is take care of this person, and since they're actually going to come in this way, if I, I want to, if I stay here, be seen. Uh, maybe if I get to here, maybe it won't be seen, but uh, this person won't be looking this way the whole time anyway. Um, but the good thing about going this way is that when this person is looking a different way, we don't have to, uh, it's kind of blocked off a little bit. So maybe let's try, let's try here. I think this will work. I don't think she'll be seen. Oh, actually, you're the uh, other person, so. Put you here so we can worry about this person if they 
come here. Actually, can you go further? No. Yeah, go this way. You can maybe come from behind here. Alright, Zasha is our uh, fighting swords person. That's why you get the sword mainly. I want her here though. And ready to move. So swords are silent, of course, so that's good. That's what we're that's what we're uh what we want to see. Uh I'm gonna be able to cross in front, so uh just to like just in case here. We might be able to stick a knife into this dude when he comes. Oh, actually, that's as far as he went? Oh, interesting. So you don't see- oh, so I could actually get you to here probably at least. You're not looking. I could probably sneak you. I oh, know, heard. You get hurt. Oh no, I'll just sneak. You get hurt if you get to there. I could put you there, but that's probably not good. I can get to here though. Okay, okay, maybe maybe we'll do this. Uh, I'm a little uh, sniffly right now. My sinuses are bothering me because uh, the weather changed so harshly. So uh, I am. Uh, my sinuses are draining a little bit. I think uh, in this case she should be fine even if he turns. If not, then we'll see. So you're gonna hear me sniffling just a little bit here and there. And you will get to here. All right, perfect. The cool thing is I think she might get another turn so we might be able to take this dude out. All right, now they, they've got reinforcements already. We've got more company up here. All right, so we can actually take this dude out. Probably no problem. I silence and walk up to him. I think I can get him, but I might not want to do that because I might want to worry about this guy first with it. Although he's going to come back and see this and then so it's going to be interesting. I can get here. I, I, my question here right now is if I can take him out with one shot. E even using silence? Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there's a good chance I'll take him out. Nice. Oh, and critical too, so that's beautiful. Right, then you sneak back over here. Uh, we want you on delay right now because we want to see what this person's going to do. You can get around here. I look, I can, you can't quite do that, but we can get you all the way around. Uh, Okay, what I'm worried about is this dude coming, seeing her. All right, nothing so far. Perfect. This guy coming. Does he get to see? I get to turn that way. He turned that way. That's not what I wanted. Uh, if he comes out, though, that'll be fine. Because we'll take him out on the next turn then. Well, uh, the question for me will be, will he walk through here or what? This is going to be, this is going to be the question. Is 
Is he gonna go back? Is there, is there, there's not an alarm in there, is there? So I don't know why he would do He's probably get, does he have to go through the door in order to do that? I don't know. We're gonna find out. You sit there for right now. I believe this actually has a... Has a silencer on it, which... Oh wait, no, it's not your turn. And yeah, it is. You'll be heard, so I don't want to do anything yet. Okay, that's... Oh, I can't delay here. You are heard no matter what you do, so... Just hold tight then. Uh, I want you right here. Get ready to or get ready to jump on this dude. If he comes out. Oof. The main reason to not get in really in a big fight right now is so we don't get anyone hurt. Uh, on this edge here... Oh, well this is not good. He's alerted too, okay. Set yet. Okay, well, if they're alerted, then we need to. We need to take him out then. Uh, with that, then we can actually probably run a little bit. Nope, he can't go any faster. Okay, so uh, hold where you are there. Open that up. Could I run up to him? Oh, actually, I gotta run up to. He sees me. He's dead. He's not dead. What? Oh, it said he was dead. Well, that's a problem. Might as well run up on him then. That'll kill him though. Perfect. Alright, with that then, we should be, these two should be safe while this one has to come all the way through here and it's never gonna get there. Uh, so not a big deal. Uh, so actually, you can get in your sneak. So we'll have someone grab the stuff. Um, then we can use the door. Uh, you... we're gonna have to get you out of here somewhere, so we'll get to the pincer of this person coming. That's okay. So, so far so good here. We got... Uh, we're, we're slashing people up. Three down. Uh, we used the, the, uh, the silenced weapon. We could've used the, the big gun, but... You know, we didn't want to set up too much, so... So, so far so good. So far so good. All right, uh... Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, move two. Take it, what do we get? Nice, Echo Jammer, uh, nano sealed item which can be decompressed later at Safe House Nano Forge. Okay. And an encrypted file chip that can be sold or decrypted at the Safe House. Cool. Uh, so I'm trying to think which way to do this. I can open the door, or I can set up an ambush for the person that's coming. Uh, I think we will do this. We don't have a reason to sneak right now. 
Uh, use the... There we go. Cool. And get to there. And sneak. There we go. Now you're uncover in case something shows up. Which it shouldn't. I want you to get here. So when that person comes, we have a person ready to go. Which way are they going? Oh. They, they're not going the way I thought they were. Very interesting. Fortunately, we can't really hide bodies. Uh, there is a skill that lets you do that. Eventually, there's a skill that lets you do that. But uh, we don't have access to it yet. Eventually, we'll be able to move bodies. But right now, uh, there's only a camouflaging bodies option, and you have to find that skill point. So, uh, we can't go total stealth, but we can we can certainly work on what we're doing here. So, so far, so good. We are actively... Uh, there's nothing here I thought there was, so... Are you hidden? I can't really actually tell. I don't I think you're hidden, but... Well, we'll see. Woke sleeping in ISIS. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's uh, gone, so now you gotta go this way. We're all converging on here. That's where we gotta get to. Uh, we need to see where this person's going. Or I could just, uh, you could, can you get up on here? Oh yeah, I can. Am I not close enough? There it is. Okay, he died. <laughs> so we're just uh, slaughtering all the guards right now. They didn't uh, really do anything, but kind of in our way. All right, since there's no one coming, we can get to the Japa. Uh, if this thing turns and looks at us, that kind of hurt. It's kind of not good, but gonna have to live with it. Can you get to the chopper? No, you cannot. So get there. I didn't think about the camera, so we'll see. Hey, hey, hey. oh, okay. It just uh, it went over us. So never mind. All good. All right, you stay. get here too. Boom. And you will also get there. Boom. Easy does it. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Spit it out Danica. We've got ultra tech military grade encrypted comms pink piping in. A bird is coming down on the rooftop. It's a fragging ultra tech response team. By hell, we're made. Someone talked. Get down. Here they come. And, and they, indeed, there they go. <laughs> that, that's a wonderful uh, bit here for us to deal with. Although I think somehow they don't see us. We're going to go to plan B here. Star and I are headed to the basement. We'll take the cargo truck out of the building. We'll just quietly go back the way we came. They, they've they interfaced with the building security. So, boom. Oh, we can't go that way. The rooftop is on lockdown and the elevator gates are closed. We need an exit mask. Working on it. I've got something. Schematics show an old panel on the second floor on the second rooftop elevator. It's an old TX-80 interface. 
Wow, that's old. It is old enough we can spoof the protocol, but they've disconnected it from the network. You have to get close enough to tap the trunk line and relay the signal to me. On our way now. Those birdmen spread out really fast. All right, that's not good. Also not good. Also not good. And someone got over there somehow. Wonderful. But they don't know we are here. Keep down. Stay patient. Follow my lead. All right, we just got to get at least one teammate inside the area near the TX-80. Then we have to hold it to give our hacker a full two turns to work. So we got to bum rush someone there, and then the other two can take their time if however they need to, so... So you're probably wondering why I delayed turn instead of ending turn? Well, that was why, because I knew this was coming. Uh, so... Can I get somewhere here that will... Okay, let's, uh... Can't really get anywhere, so let's go... We're gonna go... Uh, around this way. If we can make a cut across, we'll go. If not, then we're gonna try and sneak up on this dude and take him out. Alright. Cool. Alright, so that guy's on front. So they wouldn't have been able to see us anyway, even though somehow they didn't notice us. Kind of weird, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, so we have a double problem here, actually, is that we got to worry about the camera and uh, how the guard's looking. It's not going to be the funnest, but... Uh, hold on. Uh, so if we get you here, you should be fine. I'm gonna try to push you as the uh, front line here. We can get you through. That'd be perfect. Because you can predict yourself you have a gun. I mean, they all have guns technically, but she has like an actual rifle that could actually do some some work. All right. All right, so that's our plan. We're trying to try and break through before they notice. And then, so okay, that 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 helped. Which way are you looking now? I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I wasn't just sitting on my hands while you all prepped for this hospital run. I did some poking around, just in case things got hot. All right, so we have uh, in advance of jobs and heists, we can stack up plan leverage, which can help us pull off our objectives. We can gain leverage by working our network. Paying bribes, calling in favors, or completing preemptive hacking tasks. It's officially heating up. What do you have? The Ultratech team has locked the network down pretty hard, but I have my claws into security relay node still. I can route their sense net traffic to dead end for a minute before they shut me down. Do you have a dust up with the Ultratech tech response? I can keep it off the sec eight hours. The SEC AI's radar once. The security AI, in this case. All right, so we have our leverage on our phone menu in the top left. Uh, so we have the blip leverage that can help us clear out potential security tally, uh, the yellow marks, for one turn. So like that. Oh, this is perfect for us, to, actually. So you're not looking, so you'll be able to get through. Uh, we have that camera, but we should be able to avoid it. They're looking the other way. So far, so good. Can we? Can you get all the way there? Yes, you can. All right, perfect. We may be able to sneak her around to take out the dude. If we need to. May not need to. Do 
you with the sneak jab. Just go right on by. It's perfect. Actually, I could have switched you to a run halfway through. It's not too bad here, though. Can't be seen by anything. It's perfect, so we don't have to worry. I think that's a good spot for you for right now. Perfect. Can't. Let's go. Let's get you here. So this seems to be our squad leader right now. We actually need to keep that in mind. We got a squad leader here in Saya, the Vanguard. See, the good thing about her is she's got the silence, so we can silence here and have her walk up and then whack, whack, slice and dice. What you like? So we should be good. I like where I like how we're set up right now. This dude's coming as long as he is not looking in the area that I'm worried about. But she just walked away. Okay, perfect. So she's good. This is a little worse for us right now. What? What did you see? Who did you see? That's not good. Oh, okay. You saw her. Oh, I see. Shit. That's not good. That's not good. Kind of screwed that one up. Mm -hmm. I thought I was hiding a little bit more in the corner, but I guess not. All right, you at least are good to go. So you get here. I'm here, but this equipment looks pretty hardened. I'm patched in now. Just stay close to the TX-80. I'll show you what I can do. I hope you're not all talk, Danica. All right, so one mark needs to stay in this zone until it's uh, until the force gate's lowered. Uh, she's there, so it's fine. We are good. Uh, the door here—that's interesting. Okay, uh, you sit here. There's not really much you can do right there, but um, yeah, that's not good. Not good at all, because uh, I think they're going to get a shot off at her. I want to do this then. I think we might take this dude out then. Use the deflection field here so when they start shooting at least we have uh, some deflection area here. Uh, and we, then we can try and use cover from there I think. I think that's how we're going to have to do it. Yeah, see I kind of figured that was going to happen. And you're die. Sorry, bros. Uh, oh, you don't get a deflection. Shoot. That was not the way to go. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to have more room, but I didn't. Did I sneak or did I run? Uh, that's not good. It's investigating. All right. You, on the other hand. I'm gonna try and make her run for it right across. They apparently won't see you, so hopefully uh, this will work. <laughs> yeah, you're back up then. If they come, you're back up. I was hoping I'd be a little bit further. I might be able to get them to come this way. But the lower, maybe. Do I have to have them in here, in the area? Oh, I gotta do it this way. Uh, I'm too far away. Can I not get them? 
Eh, I can't. Let's delay action real quick then. <sighs> it's not good. Can't really do anything right now. It's not good. That is not what we wanted to see here. Should probably go back a turn and do this a uh, different way. Have her take care of her here, uh, attack, and then might be able to, to go. So you may be okay because these are they're not sure who's coming yet so maybe able to get out of this yet let's, let's I don't want to do this but I'm going to violent trespassers escalating protocols all right so we have another one coming in Uh, delay because I want to see what's going to go on here. You're investigating. Can't do anything. You're investigating. Nothing. You got to make a run for it. Oh, you still be able to get shots off? That's terrible. Wait, you you should. How come you can't move? Well, what's going on? <laughs> it, 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 it's not the way that works. That's not the way that works. That's not the way that works. Let's go back then. But that's not the way that works. Overwatch shouldn't work that way. Alright, so they're gonna do that. Cause you can't even really actually see, so what we're gonna do then... What? 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 That's. Uh, I mean. Uh, I mean. Uh, you can't. What? You can't really. You can't see anything. <laughs> there. Uh, uh, okay. What? Okay. No. No. That's weird. That's really weird. That is really weird. All right. Let's, let's get this correct then. I guess, uh, apparently this guy is a super correct shot from an area where he can't actually see anyone, but, alright. I guess I gotta drop this a little bit better then. Alright. Wait, how? It's not even... No, no, no. He cannot see. There's no way he can see. There's no way he can see. <laughs> There's like a zero chance that that guy can actually see. <laughs> I was having a tough time putting down the shield too. That was that wasn't open matters. <laughs> See, he, his, his line of sight is should be blocked if I put it here. So it's like on this cone here. So he should not be able to, if I put it here, he should not be able to hit me at all. <laughs> he, he can't, there, it's like literally he can't see anything. It's blocked. Like, see, it's it's on the gold there. He can't see. So I'm hitting this wrong. 
I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how you even came close to saying anything. Can't see anything. He's can't. Oh my god! I, I don't know how he's seeing anything. This is really, this is really strange. Maybe I needed to walk out a little bit further like this before doing it. Maybe she couldn't cross. I'm not 100 percent sure. That might have been what it was. I pay attention to the movement a little bit better, I guess. Uh, can you get any further? Can you get around? No, you can't. I was hoping you might be able to get around it here, but you can't. I would like to get her some more cover, but it's about as good as I can do, I guess. At least they're all distracted down this way. They're fine right now. Right. Interesting. Okay, so he's coming this way now. Now I think this might actually work. If I do this, can I catch both of them? I didn't, did I not get him? I thought I did. Are they both not in it? Looked like they was. Lure two enemies. Let's say we lure two enemies, so that should be that should work. Right. I think this is not ready yet, but it's getting there. So we should be ready to go as soon as it comes up. Oops, I'm struggling here with the, the map a little bit here. Got everyone there, though. Delay, hopefully, that this will go through. Hopefully, you don't have to worry about these people. Got the security in his ear. He's... I'm not sure what that guy's doing. Yeah, I guess the next turn is when we'll be good. Seem to be good. Bam. Yes. Perfect. As promised, your exit. I didn't think you were going to pull it off. Oh, so Aaron has newfound respect for Danica's technical support shops. Positive relationship for him. So see, this is uh, what I was kind of hinting at with um, uh, some of the traits that will come in and uh, help move relationships along without us uh, having to uh, come up with kind of that kind of stuff in a more uh, outside kind of thing. Like we can do, still do that kind of stuff in the storylines, but also we have some uh, stuff the game gives us too. So our hacker and our gunner here are uh, have respect for each other, which is good. And we're going to see actually some some uh, further interactions off this as well. Cool. So now we just got to get out. All right. So this went. Uh, good, except for the, I miscalculated here, uh, I wasn't thinking about the, I should have looked at these guys and see what they did to make sure none of them were going to come and look here. 
like uh what i was originally thinking was actually coming having both those guys come around here and they would never have been here but um i completely forgot about that and then this was weird this i this might have been a movement thing maybe i needed to come out here and then go that might have been what what the problem was there that i wasn't uh I wasn't getting, I wasn't picking up. Now I'm pretty sure that there is uh, nothing else out of this. So I don't need to delay turn, but you never know. So this would have been a good time for the leverage here because we can take out those four, but uh, I didn't really need it. Boom. And there you have it. The elevator, the elevator is engaging. We're out of here. We took that TX-80 out, Danica. Star has exited the building in the in the cargo truck. You all know your exits? Get to them. I want a strict 24-hour dust-off period. Don't you dare bring an Ultratech tail back to our safe house. Boom. So, there we go. That's uh, mission number one. We had... Uh, like I said, we had that one little bit of problem, but other than that, uh, not too bad. Got some experience points. Uh, Sasha, with that uh, injury, going to take a day, it looks like, to uh, heal. So that's something you have to worry about, is that when they get injured and to get healed up, they do take time off. And that does matter because there's going to be a timeline, as we're going to see in just a second. Uh, so no payment. We got plus nine heat. We got some loot. We got some experience. Cool. So here we are. This is our safe house. Coming up. <laughs> right here. Everything is finally quiet. Actually, we're going to see this at the beginning of the next episode. So I don't know if I gotta, really got to read this, but uh, we can use that as... Maybe we can use this as a kind of a coming back in kind of thing. Everything is finally quiet. That was a mess, but you all did well. Got Star out of there safely. Are we in the clear? For the moment, we are. The safe house is operationally secure. What's our next move? We go dark and we wait. We're not doing anything until Star is back on her feet. All right, Aaron's gonna ask, how long will it take Star to recover? Not as long as you might think. They probably dumped a gallon of patch and stitch nano down in there. You know she's flying high in all the meds. They said a week back at the clinic. Even that gray stitch gunk can't fix a spinal slice that fast. Uh, cause I'm Danica, hacker. Someone sold us out back at the odd clinic. There had to be a snitch. That ultra, that ultra tech hit squad didn't find us on its own. I'm not trying to sow distrust here. If it was one of you, then I'm sure we'd all be dead already. You're right about that. Otherwise, your goons wouldn't have showed up so late or so underprepared. Someone was trying to make a quick buck. There has to be a trail, but we can't let Ultratech catch us sniffing around it. There are a lot of ways we can be discreet. Every action has an echo in the Matrix. Uh, so we can send someone out into the field to do legwork. These non-job tasks are field operations such as casing a joint, following a target, investigations, and more. Uh, we need to pick our legworks carefully as each has its own risk and rewards. Our chances of success will be based on the merc's traits, backstory, and history. Once a merc is committed to a legwork, they will not become available for a job again until it is complete, so we need to avoid overcommitting. Right, so we can think about this. If we're careful, we might be able to pick up the snitch's trail without attracting more ultra tech attention. Uh, so we can do this. We send out uh, our hacker for, because that seems to be who who would be best here, eighty-two uh, percent. They will be doing this for five days and twelve hours. Max attempt one. If we uh, are successful here, we'll, unco we'll uncover the identity of the whistleblower who called in Ultratech. But if they're failure, uh, we, we'll get a bunch of heat, which makes things a little bit harder. Uncover the whistleblower's identity, but get picked up. 
Uh, so we still would pick up the whistleblower's identity, but we get picked up by ultra tech scanners. So we definitely want to do this. We can send our hacker out there. If we're careful, we might be able to pick up the snitch's trail without attracting more ultra tech attention. I can poke around the AUG clinic. The call had to originate from within the building. I'll be very discreet. I don't want to start awake and hear that he messed us up. Your little digital footsies better tread lightly. I don't want an ultra tech hit squad knocking on the door. Right, so add it to the timeline. So no comms in or out. Now he waits. Except Danica, you've got work to do. See you all at the shooting range then. So running a heist team requires judicious planning to wait at your safe house while you prepare for your next move, advance the timeline with the play button. See, this is our timeline, so everything is actually on a timeline. Uh, so uh, that means we have deadlines, we have uh, missions that will come up, and as I said, uh, when uh, some of our people are injured, they're out for a while, and they're not available for missions, and during that time, sending people out to do missions like the legwork missions uh, means they're unavailable as well. Uh, so there is the time component that we have to worry about. And this is where we're going to see a lot of it. So it's very, uh, it's very cool that it's actually time driven that we actually have things we have to do. We have, uh, uh, limit time limits on things. We have people being out, uh, our, our team will be affected by what's going on on the timeline. Uh, so th it's a very cool thing that they have going on here. So, uh, just a quick little thing here. We can look at our barracks and see what's going on here. Uh, we're still working on names and stuff. Like I said, this is Cyber, Valkyrie, Alpha, the group. And so we'll have uh, things we'll do to do. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go through our timeline. We'll start working on things. It'll be a lot of uh, uh, missions, uh, like um, legwork missions, uh, other messages coming in. We're going to get stories. We're going to get tips. We're going to be contacts. And then uh, we'll work all the way up to the next mission. And then we'll do the mission uh, in the next episode after that. So we'll kind of break it up. That's how we'll kind of break it up. We'll uh, safe house stuff, mission, uh, has two different uh, episodes. So, well, to, to make that clear, episode of safe house stuff only. The mission up there will be the next uh, heist mission. And then the next uh, episode of that will be back to the uh, safe house. So, uh, it make it a lot easier for people if people are interested in kind of story stuff. They can just really pay attention to uh, the stuff in between all the safe house stuff if you're more interested in seeing some of the combat and stuff uh you can watch those if you're interested in all of it we can uh you can then kind of watch all of it <laughs> so just kind of make it uh a little bit easier to follow as you can see but um as you can see then we have uh completed our first mission we will be able to continue here pick this up like i said i know what's coming up here we got our, our uh group is recovering from injuries uh, we have messages uh, we're going to get our origin story uh, going as well. Uh, so we'll be learning about what we uh, will be accomplishing and why. Uh, we'll be learning a little bit about the origin of the uh, spinal implant. And we will be um, getting more uh, kind of like background and, and such before we push into the next mission. Um, so I'm not sure how long the timeline mission episode next one will be. It may not be that long. I'm trying to remember how long it took me last time to get up to that mission. So, but it still might be a little bit and we can start looking at, uh, our, our group and, uh, shifting things around if we need to, in order to, uh, adjust things for our story here. So like I said, we have a little bit here. We know. Our, uh, our soldier here is now uh, respects, has a professional respect for Danica, our hacker. Uh, and then even met, uh, references to when. And uh, we have messages that we'll have to talk to people about. Uh, no one, uh, we have class training. We'll be able to look at our cyber knight and add traits and such. 
And what we can also do is we also can take a look at some of the uh, backgrounds. So it would be like places would probably be a good one. Faction, we can uh, look at some of the stuff to kind of learn more of the background of and lore of the city and the world. So like I said, this is going to be, there's going to be a, a good amount of story stuff going on and it should be really cool to see where it goes and, and how it takes off and how we can kind of bring that to life a little bit. So that first mission, we're still learning about what's going on. Now we kind of know our soldier and our hacker have started to gain professional relationship. Our, uh, Vanguard seems to be, uh, the, like a squad leader for when the Cyber Knight's not available. And, uh, we can kind of start to think about how we can weave that into a uh, story. But, um, that will be for, uh, like I said, we're still working on names and stuff. So, uh, some of these names will, will like the, the code names here, we'll keep, we'll keep, uh, probably will change these names on, uh, these regular names. I think I have some code names in mind for, uh, some of the others here, but, uh, yeah, so the, but yeah, we always will be, especially in, in this run through, we'll always be taking uh, any comments or anything that you might have in order to uh, help make this uh, something fun. You know, names, group names. Like I said, right now I have like Cyber Valkyries Alpha as the group name, which, you know, Alpha is because this is the Alpha playthrough of it. But um, we'll be able, we can always kind of change it. There's nowhere on here that. Ooh, that's a name. That's kind of an unofficial name, I guess. And then like names for our people. Uh, we'll probably change the look. I actually have an idea for her, a better idea um, that I think might be interesting to add in. So I'll probably do that. And um, yeah, so always willing to hear more about what you think, uh, what uh, you want to see, those kind of things. So. Like I said, uh, next episode, we will be working on our timeline and learning more about the story. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out and watching a little bit. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself, got to see a little bit of the combat, a little bit of the tactical stuff, and uh, get a, a little bit of feel for how things can, can go. We, kinda, we, went, we were trying to go more stealthy than we did. Um, Sometimes things work out, something, sometimes things don't quite work out the way you're uh, supposed to, <laughs> you would think. But um, but yeah, so thank you all. I do appreciate you all watching. And if you're enjoying yourself, of course, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff on this video or any of the others you have to watch. Uh, we'll continue to work on things here and adding more things and just kind of talking more about stuff. It's just making sure we did a, a decent job on that first mission, so it was kind of... Uh, uh, focus on that a little bit, but, um, yeah, um, shout out to all the subscribers on the channel already. Hopefully, uh, uh, we'll get more and more and more and we can add more stuff. So shout out to all of you. Thank you all for the support. Really do appreciate it. Uh, the links in the description of the video to our Twitch and our Twitter. If you want to check that stuff out, uh, Twitch, we stream on the weekends on Saturday nights, uh, so you can definitely check that out if you like. Uh, but uh, obviously, it's just uh, an option. But uh, yeah, that is going to do it here. So thank you all for uh, hanging out for a little bit and checking things out uh, as we start our journey here in the Cyber Knights Flashpoint world. So hopefully y'all doing well out there. Stay well, stay safe, stay good. Stay healthy out there. Like I said, I, the weather kind of changed here. Uh, really got into my sinuses here a bit. So uh, hopefully the next time should be feeling pretty good. <laughs> so hopefully y'all are doing good. Uh, so stay good out there. And I will catch all of y'all next time. So y'all have a good one and see you next time. Adios for now. Bye.